Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. I just saved you about a minute and a half of watching me hose down all of these implements here. That took a long time. There's five different pieces of equipment in here. But uh, I wanted to put these away because I want to use this tractor today. It's the, the most powerful tractor we've got. Even more powerful than the Warrior. But where do you store it? I mean, I've got a place over there for sowers. Got a place over there for fertilizers. I've got a place up there for plows and cultivators. This is kind of a mix of almost everything. I don't really want to separate it all out. Hmm. I think what I'll do for now is just park it up in there and later as we start to separate all of these pieces and spread them out over the map, then we'll find a, uh, an appropriate place to put them. Or we'll pop another shed down over here somewhere for for combination items. Let's get him put away. In fact, let's pop into cab here. I can go a little faster if I can control it better. We're still on slow speed on our uh, crop growth, so this guy's ready to go next. It's on his last stage of growth, but we still have a little bit of time. Enough time to keep playing around with uh, with uh, some more of the coon implements. Now, I want to see this from the outside, because I know it's going to be a very close fit. Oh, I hit V accidentally. Okay. Let's see if I can get in far enough. Yeah, to drop this guy down. Right there. So that is that guy, V and Q. Alright, you're going to go there. A lot of momentum here. I let off and start hitting the brakes and he still travels quite a long distance before I actually get him to stop. Alright, something like that. Now where am I? That's the correct one. If I hit G, or no, Q. Yeah, don't really like the way that goes crashing down, but that's going to have to do for now. So we've got lots of stuff I want to do this time. I'm going to meet you over at the shop. And we'll see what adventure we can get into. Alright, today I want to get into kind of the, the mowing and baling technology of this new DLC. Let's see what is available to us. So, as far as mowing goes, there we are. We already own this setup. And that's fine. That does pretty much all that we need. Don't need to get into this guy. I don't know if I'd... Hmm. I've never actually run a mower that runs off to one side. I've always liked being centered. So I think we're going to continue to use what we've got here. But let's take a look at the windrower here. This one is real interesting to watch. To me, it's not cost-effective as far as the reality of... of uh, of running this as a farming business. It's not really any faster. Um, well, it takes a little bigger tractor, but we don't have a tractor that's too small to run it, so that's not an issue. Um, costs, where that one? Yeah, $40 a day, $50 a day, so it costs a little more in maintenance. It's the same width, basically, five times the price. So if I'm going to buy another one, I'm going to buy this, which will give us... Uh, another half time wider on the width and uh, it just it just works so much better but this one I do want to see it I want to I want to run it so we're gonna go ahead and lease this guy and run it right alongside our mowers at the you know the same same run see how that goes so let's select this guy It's gonna cost us 8,000 to lease it go ahead and do that that's 8,000 per day actually let's take a look at that we've not really dealt with leasing so base cost of 2,000 that no matter how many days you've got it, that's a one-time fee. Then another thousand dollars per day, and then five thousand dollars per operating hour. And again, just remember that in Farming Simulator, time is greatly compressed. You know, three days is like an entire season, you know, an entire summer. So compress all the costs of an entire summer into just three dawn till dusks 
in this simulation. So that's why the prices are so extreme, because they're trying to reflect that extreme amount of time. I mean, you're doing a whole lot of work in three days. So that's kind of why this seems so exaggerated. Uh, we will do that field in maybe 15 minutes, so one-fourth of an operating hour. We could do, you know, four fields for that amount of money right there. So, yeah, it works out for, for the purposes of this. We've already leased it. <laughs> Let me do it again. And nothing else is needed here. Yeah. So that's the beast. I wanted a little bigger tractor more horsepower because we've got to run this guy in the back with uh, quite a bit of, of uh, moving parts and a lot of uh, horsepower needed there as well as the horsepower needed to run three mower decks it's quite a bit now, this guy is a trailer and just like the other wind rower the wheels are at the very back which makes it a little bit harder to back up it doesn't have the same feel as uh, a regular uh, single axle trailer you know, in the center. The Merge Max 902. That's what we've got there. So we need... Hmm, how best? I want that, uh, that mower deck right there. So let's swing this a little bit wide. I need to get rid of that bush. It's always in our way. So am I close enough? I believe I am. There we go. Let's back out of here. Now let's take a look at this whole system. Is that enough to turn around? I think so. Get out over here. Swing around, kind of cut through the, the shrubberies a little bit. Right like that. All right, let's start in the front. Um, where am I? Want to G that one, so want to X. That's not an X. There it is. Fold him down. V, and let's pop over to the next one. Fold him down. The Nova Cat. Brand name on this one, the Pottinger Nova Cat. Take him down. G, let's take a look at the Merge Max. Uh, X. Okay, let's G that one again. X, there we go. So these wings swing out drop down. Now unlike over there, the uh, the other wind rower with the big fans, this is more of a cylinder with little tiny fan blades in there. And they just kind of whip it up onto a conveyor belt. Let's drop him down and fire him up and watch what happens. This conveyor belt starts kicking everything off to the side and throws it against the screen over here on, the, on this side. So GB, GB. Let's fire up all of those. Oh, that sounds good. And zoom out a little so we can watch all sides of it, and let's go. Here's something that's kind of exciting. I can hire this out. There we go. Now I can kind of cruise around and... Never mind. You just had a little, uh, little brain fart there. Why was that? Hmm. I can hire this. Maybe the mowers I can't. Ah, okay. Combos, or things that do more than one thing at a time, apparently are a little bit tough on the AI. All right, let's do this again. I am in the front, so B, G, B, G, B. All right, let's uh, V, G, V, G, B. B. <laughs> are we running? We're running. Okay, no more hiring out. Let's just do this thing. What was I saying? I have no idea. Anyway, let's watch how this guy works. So these guys just fling it up inside there onto the conveyor belt. I'm still going kind of straight. And it flings out over here and pours out into a pile, hits that screen, which uh, I'm trying to hit all the grass up there. So if you're taking this guy clockwise around the field, it should make the corners rather well counterclockwise would be a problem. I don't think there's a way to kick it off to the other side. you think there would be, because you've got a screen on both sides. So let's make this turn and see if that's possible. So I can swing out over here, 
and everything stays within the radius of the turn. So we didn't lose anything out there. We didn't mow at all, so that's a problem. We still may have to go back and, and touch up the corners. And there's our one bale of straw that we keep forgetting down there. But let's pop into here. Now, I want... G... Ah, right there. Is there a way... He's called a merger. Turn merger off. Hire worker. Lift merger. Fold merger. Toggle map size. Oh, that's nine. Okay. Um, change tool selection. Stop engine. So, no, there's no way that it's indicating for me to choose it to fling over to the other side. That's too bad. It seems like there would be. Maybe there is a command that's not showing up on the list. Z is a command that is used for the arms on the cultivator, but nope, that didn't do any good here. Okay. Now, we had a problem last time with this little end of the field compared to the big end. How do we deal with that this time? How do we deal with it differently? Let me say we clip this off into two loops. A big loop and a little loop. Which is about here. Well, let's see if there's a better way to do this. Am I kind of going straight? Kind of. We're still going to have a pretty messed up end over here. But it should make the, uh, the larger field more symmetrical. Now if we can, we'll go grab the baler this time. Probably lease the round one with the uh, with the auto wrapper built into it. Long term I want to buy the, the square baler. That's what I've been waiting for. But for the uh, sake of kind of experimenting with all the different uh, new implements of the Coon Pack, I think we will uh, at least get a chance to see that that uh, that combo, the wrapper baler, and see how it works. It seems a bit pricey, although if you were to spend a lot of time in your own games uh, silage baling a lot of fields, it would definitely pay for itself. The silage bale is worth quite a bit. I'm going to pass on that corner rather than keep uh, trying to all the, the different pieces of grass. We're not doing a, uh, you know, a perfect job here this time. We're mostly just getting a chance to see the equipment run. So let's do one more pass in here, see if I can grab, yeah, grab that. Let's stay off to this edge here. Grab this over here and dive back into the main loop. Noticing a big arched beam over the top of the merger. Big uh, support structure up there. All right, we're going to clip this one a little short. Start making, start establishing a curve on all the corners. Hopefully, I can just continue working into that curve each time. Sacrifice one outer corner and see if it makes the rest of the loop work out. This also may be, yeah, I don't know. Be hard to predict it. It's one of those things where if you start with an inner spiral and work outward, but I can see not getting the beginning of it right so that it actually works good at the end. So I guess best work from the outside in. Alright, we're going to skip that little triangle out over here and kind of merge all this together. sheep lately. Yeah, they're looking a little dirty over there. Another episode or two, we'll get back to the animals, make sure they're doing fine. Or we could use a drink of water by now. Nah, yeah, I still have a square, squared off corner there. I guess I always will be. If you watch the mower as it makes the turn, it kind of stays stationary and 
It's a pretty sharp squared corner. So normally I would go back kind of diagonal at the corners and clean all that up, but I'm going to skip it this time. This grass grows back so fast. But, uh, two, uh, two growth cycles and it'll look like we were never here. Now, it'd be different if I had a steering wheel. If I had the steering wheel set up, I could make a nice gradual arc on the corners. I'm pretty sure I could match up the consecutive arches to make that work. The keyboard, of course, is all or nothing. Yank the wheel hard to the right, and then let go. Then yank it again, and let go. That's the keyboard. So I may as well just yank it and get it done. See how fast we go through a field like this. We're almost done. What have we been running this guy? Ten minutes? So that five thousand dollars for an operating hour. You, know, you get a, a sense that uh, you, know, you do get a lot of work out of that. If you were going to rent this for this purpose, you'd probably want to have several fields all lined up so that you can get your full hour's worth. If you've already paid for it, you may as well use it and use it within that day before you have to pay for another day. So that's one thing about leasing. You really want to lease only when you're, when you're going to get your money's worth or for a, you know, a special situation like this where I just want to, just want to show this off. Right now, we're not so much farmer rambler running a uh, farming business. We're noble rambler doing a YouTube let's play. <laughs> All right, one more pass, and we'll call this one done. say, ah, oh, job's done, and it would fold everything up for me. I don't have to actually go through and and uh, you know, speak that, that, that foreign elven language in order to make all of the uh, implements rise. I'm going to park this guy here just for the sake of time. I'm going to show you something you can, you can use, a strategy. Uh, tab? No. Shift tab twice. Back at the warrior. Okay. Let's... Am I released? I am. Drive this out a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to do something here just to show you how to do this in case you've never done it before. If you need to get, you know, to save some time, you know, in this on this map, you spend an awful lot of time driving through 14, going down all the way through the town to get to the shop. Or you're constantly driving down this road and going down the highway and getting to the shop. There is a way. It's not realistic, but it works for when you just just need to get there and, and be done click on where you are and that confused me because that's not black but that is the warrior it's only showing you the base model not your improvements to it reset sends you over to the shop with the warrior so we pop out of here it's gone so we can then click on the shop uh, no we can't I've got to turn all these back on there we go shop right there visit and we're here so that saves a bunch of time I, mean, I could do something like that and edit this all out just to make it a little bit faster to record the video but this guy over here and let's lease that fancy new round baler baling technology there you are this guy here 135,000 again if you're doing an awful lot of working with silage bales 
you can pay this off pretty quick at almost 1500 per bale so two of them is 3000 so 40 times two you know you 100 bales and i think you've got this guy paid for everything after that is profit so throw uh that wind rower in there too and and another 100 bales and all of your equipment's paid for and so but for the purpose of our let's play series we're never going to do you know 200 bales that's just you know that's something you do on your own it's not something you want to watch for 18 hours of of youtube videos to count them all so but this guy we're going to select and we're going to lease another ten thousand dollars so we're about well almost 11 and almost nine so we're about twenty thousand dollars in lease payments this episode be curious to see how many bales we get out of this i didn't choose the color that's right you can choose colors here now we'll take the white one but you've got at least four different colors I don't know if this means that four more colors are, are planned or if their default menu here automatically comes in eights. But four colors to choose from. Anyway, back, back, back. And I'm curious to see if when we sell all these bales, which probably won't be this episode, I'm already quite a bit of time into this, um, will it bring in enough to, okay, I'm turn this way, to uh, pay for the equipment? probably will. Those bills are quite uh, worth quite a bit. But I will meet you out at field 11. All right. So we've got here the Kuhn FBP 3135 Intellirap. FBP hmm Field Baylor Pro. Ah, why not? <laughs> anyway, round Baylor kicks out into this cradle right here wraps it all up and then slices it off where is the cutter on this guy yeah we'll see it when it happens let's fire this all up that one we only have one implement so there's no g involved here so what does x do x that's interesting so it stows up above huh while you're transporting Okay, then you hook it up down there, and we lower it down, and B turns it on. Now, let's find out something. Looking to see if the, oh, auto unload is there. So we can turn it off, so no delay. Hmm. Now that sets with a Z. Let's go for, oh, we'll go for the five seconds, until we see what it actually does with this model. Make sure that actually does talk to each other, too. I may have to kill that mod if we're going to use this thing. We'll see. Um, and we're ready. Back out over here so we can see it all working. Now you can kind of see down inside between the parts. Do we actually get to see a bale being created? Look at the, the gear in there. The chain driven. Nope. Oh, there he is. He pops out like so. And I see that I have kind of run off my row here. But he's wrapping away over there. I'm going to keep driving. Let me stay out here so you guys can watch while I'm concentrating on aiming this beast. Pretty soon he's going to slice that off. Five seconds. Didn't work. Okay. So I am guessing, oh, the beeping came early and never got there. Okay, we'll try it again. This time, going to the, four, the full 4,000. All right, he's wrapping away. Let's see what happens. What happens if we get to the 4,000 before the wrapping is done? Okay, back up. Three, four, five. Nope. The auto unloading is not working. Okay. Well, that's interesting. He does this on his own. Okay. So, if I were to turn that to off. Where is that? Z? Nope, that's not it. Right there. Okay. Let's see what happens there. That goes away. I may as well just dump this guy. So that's why. There we go. 
Now, am I in a good place? I am. And those guys are all going to take off, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I want to get back to the square baler. That's what I'm so used to. I've only done the round baler here for this series. I've never used round baling before. And I can see why. How many of those are going to land in the lake? Okay. So, so that part's all automatic. That's not the, the auto unloader. Okay, let's try that again. Well, he backs up straight. That's nice. There we go. Now, I'm going to hold on to him till I'm well around this corner, if I can. So that may have been sloping the wrong direction there. All right, drop you off. Grab you. Okay. I gotta wait for him to drop before I can continue. Now, there is not a square baler that has this feature. So, all you can do with the square baler is drop him on the ground and come back with the wrapper. Though, I was shocked to see that there was such a thing as a square wrapper. I saw the, uh, uh, the demo video that came with the Kuhn equipment pack. I was really impressed with that thing. How it can flip a rectangle around like that. That was some show. I feel like I left some behind, didn't I? Nope, I got it. Okay. So this one, you just kind of take your time and be patient. And, and uh, right there. I guess I should get in the habit of dropping that off early. Ah, oh, I did it again. Once that thing releases, I'm ready to go. So, does he get done early? It's hard for me to talk, narrate, and think about all these things. Not really. He's still doing his thing. Okay. So, just going to have to be patient. Nope. Did it again. Two stages after I hit that Y. I'm so used to one stage only. Get the Y, wait three or four seconds, and floor it is what I've always done with this round baler. Oh, 4,000. One of these times we're going to get the square baler, and you're going to really get to appreciate the difference. The square one just ejects it. You can keep driving as fast as you can drive, as fast as it'll let you. And uh, you never have to have these delays and pauses. In fact, you know what? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, nine. The I'm at thirty-one. Okay, let's go one more. I'm doing it right. Yeah. I was tempted to just drive over there and buy the square baler that we're gonna want permanently. And you see the difference right here and now. You know, I think it will do that. So let's just drop this guy off. Why? Make sure we're not going to pick anything else up. Drop him off. Let's wrap this one. Now, I'm sure I cannot turn off power onto this guy without losing power to that, right? Did we find out? B. Ah, the wrapping is independent. Okay, good. Zero is in the baler. And why does that? Okay. Let's take this guy back. Let's see, X. There we go. In fact, I'll meet you over at the shop. Okay, so let's turn this guy back in. I'll just tell him we weren't really pleased with it and we want to return it. Uh, now I'm going to make sure I'm not in the... Uh, in the square there. All right, that's the wrong way. Going down someone's alley. All right, customize, return this lease, yes. Unfortunately, we don't get any money back. Hmm, okay. But, let's drive around the block here real quick. Or not. I gotta move my pedals over. I thought I was in the forward pedal. I'm in the backwards pedal, which you would call the brake. All right, here, and there. So back to bailing technology. 
this is the one that I want long term. This one I just wanted to show it off. This guy, no options available. What do we know about it? it takes 185 horsepower. That's a pretty good size tractor. The case tractors we've got, the 1455s will not run it. So it's not just towing it, it's also you know PTO running all the mechanisms inside. Um, same 4,000, that all the bales are 4,000. What else? It'll let me go 20, uh, 12 miles an hour, 140 a day. A couple episodes ago, I was trying to figure out what that was. I was assuming that was a rectangular bale. It's actually just, I think it's a symbol for straw. So grass, straw, and hay. That's what these guys mean. Anyway, let's get this guy. Select and buy. Okay. Nothing else we need this time, right? We're going to bail it. We already have... We don't have. But we can't bring it at the same time. But we next need to get this guy. But that'll be probably next episode. So select... No, back. Back, 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 back. Jump in here. And I know this episode is running long, or will, if we're going to do any of this. So... I'm going to meet you over there, and we'll get a few of these done, then maybe next episode we'll finish off with the hay baling. Alright, wow, we're doing a little bit of a bouncing dance here. <laughs> anyway, this guy's got a cute little beacon too. But um, there's the square baler. The LSB1290D Power Density. LSB... Hmm. Oh, you guys figure that one out. I'm thinking the B has something to do with Baylor. Square? Okay. Square Baylor. What would the L be? Something Square Baylor. Hmm. We're really doing a little jig here, aren't we? I'm thinking that has to do with the ground response mod. Getting a little bit exaggerative. We must be sitting on a bump. And it's triggering it. Anyway, let's see the difference in the two. First of all, let's unfold. Something happened. Let's do that again. It's back here. Here's where the show is. So we're going to drop the uh, the gate here. That's going to act as a uh, as an extension for the uh, the bale to uh, uh, to slide down and fall off. These are probably roller wheels over here. Yeah. Anyway, let's move into here. V drops him. B turns him on. We're running in there, and we should see stuff moving in here too. Alright, let's dive into this next row. So 12 miles an hour. Oh, there's a little bit of game lag. I had to think about that one. Here, we can watch it being formed. There's your twine that wraps everything. Well, it used to be jute twine. I'm sure now it's more of a nylon string. Nowadays. And I don't have to pause anymore. We just got... We just started making our second bale. First bale, just fall. Oh, he falls off to the side. Is that on purpose or was that uh, random? Oh, that was random. Okay. Didn't know if there was a little mechanism that lifted right there. Anyway, let's pull out a little bit here so we can see that. And I can see my turn. I'm going to drag on the ground and kind of pull it off diagonally like that. But see how much faster this is? Same 4,000 cubic liters. And I don't have to stop. Don't have to back up. Don't have to hit Y. I can just plow through this stuff. And we can wrap it. Do we want to get the square wrapper permanently or do we want to lease that? I'm thinking we want to get it permanently. Again, same with these bales over here. It'll pay for itself really fast. I'm assuming. Let me reword that. I would assume that 4,000 liters of a bale wrapped up is 4,000 liters of a bale wrapped up. But it's Farming Simulator. I really don't know what to expect. What's the chance that I can work my way through these guys? You are insisting I'm not rolling out of my way. Amazing. Okay, we'll go around you. 
Alright, let's dive into this row. I'm not going to do the whole thing this episode. I need to get this one shut down. But I wanted you to see this and appreciate it both in the same episode. The round and the square. So next time, how about we pick up the, the uh, bale collector that handles the square ones. And we'll pick up the square wrapper. And we'll see that whole process. And then those we'll hang on to. That'll be a permanent uh, addition to our, our, uh, our equipment for uh, Rambler Farms here. And uh, with the money that we get back from the wrap silage bales, I'm sure we will more than pay for all this stuff. But speaking of money, do notice the top right corner there. We've blown through almost a million dollars. Now we bought one, two, three fields. We bought quite a bit of equipment. But they were not giant fields. And that was not, you know, half a million dollar potato machines you know, or, or harvesters so as you can see five million dollars does go away pretty fast in this game but like I stressed before time is, compre is compressed and so is money so you know spread that all out over years which we're simulating with just you know two or three weeks worth of game time and you've probably got those major expenses on a real commercial farm, too. But anyway, I think I'm going to call this one done. And next time we'll complete the, uh, the baling. And we will wrap and, and uh, grab the bale collectors and put everything away and sell them and all that fun stuff. So I don't think I can drive and do all of this at once. So I'll just kind of pop in over here and say this is the Noble Rambler. Hey, that's me in there. And I will catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.